if you like that shower curtain, you're going to love Nikki's DIY. She joins me in studio now. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about how you, why you might want to DIY your own shower curtain yes. because you just might not see what you want out there, right? Right. right. There's tons of shower cur curtains out there, and I see a lot of them have smaller prints, and um, you want sometimes you want a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. So we have here this beautiful shower curtain, but this shower curtain is $120. Ooh. So, you know, unless the shower curtain is also going to bathe you, you know, <laughs> I couldn't afford $120 for a shower curtain, so I decided yes. to make my own. So this one is 20 bucks for the shower curtain, and then we so did the good. leaf pattern ourselves. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Yeah. and she's going to show you how to do that. Yeah, so how did you so do So I've, I've made tons of mistakes with this, so I did all the mistakes so you guys don't have to. Perfect. So first thing you want to get is some sort of transparent sheet. Um, you can pick this up at the dollar store. The first one that I picked up actually was one of those book protective wraps that have like yes. a, a sticky film on the other side. Now that's good if you're only doing one pattern, like one stamp. Mm -hmm. But if you have to pick that up and move it somewhere else, it sticks and it's just, it doesn't work. So get something okay. that, if you're doing more than one pattern, then do um, something that doesn't, is not sticky. Got it. So you take your pattern, you can print it off the internet or find some pattern that you like, and literally just trace it out on the clear plastic. plastic. So okay. self-explanatory, you trace the entire thing, and you want to make sure you get all the details. So don't just make it like straight lines. Try to get all the details, because that'll show in the, in, the, um, in the stencil. Okay. Now, this is the most important part. The stencil is the most important part, because if you're doing this six times, and you make a mistake, then you're going to get six mistakes, which right. I found out. That's right. <laughs> Now, uh, underneath here, I have it already traced out, oh, so nice. that's nice and easy. And next step is your X-Acto knife. Oh, I so won't do this now, yeah, because I don't want to score anything. Yeah. Second mistake, make sure you have something underneath before you score Ooh, it. Oh, yes. Yes, and don't put the actual material underneath before you score it. Right. right. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't you put know, the actual right. shower These curtain seem, underneath it when you're cutting right. it off. Right. This seem, is a good They tip. seem very easy, but for some, I, I was doing it at 3 o'clock in the morning, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but um, you get sponges. This yeah. is I got from the dollar store. Um, I'm trying to think if I remember. Yes, that's fine. So you transfer it on to the actual yep. pattern. Now, now, third mistake. Yes. Make sure you have something underneath. Okay, so right. let's show them. So yes. she's got this sort of, uh, you know, car what is it? Like paper bag? It's like a paper bag it's or something. A paper bag. Yeah, or s don't put it directly on your floor and make patterns on your floor like I did at three ah. in the morning. Right. So this is so what is that going to do? Is that going to help the because paint it's fabric going through? Right. Because okay. it's fabric, it'll go onto the plastic instead of your, you know, hardwood floors. Right. right. Okay, that <laughs> um, makes sense. Now the, the one thing that you want to remember is um, when you're dabbing, yeah, dab it off a little bit. Um, with me, I kind of dab it in the middle because the middle part is going to be uh, full anyways. But yes. you know, you take a little bit at a time and you kind of work your way in. Now, oh, the other thing. Fabric paint. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you're using the right paint. So pick up some fabric paint um, at your um, craft store, and mm -hmm. uh, that will allow you to be able to wash and do what you need to do with this. And you pretty much just right. work your way in. Now I'm going to show you some tricks because this pattern has a lot of these little fringe edges, right? It does. So don't be scared of them. Literally, all you have to do is hold it down, yeah. and instead of dabbing on these ones, drag. Mm. And it allows you to get this like clean edge. Yes. You know what I mean? So drag across. And just work your way through the entire thing, and it makes it super easy. Okay. The other thing is that if you don't want it to be solid, if you want it to be, and I think I have paint on my face. Now, if you want it to be a little no, bit artistic, good. you want to dab and leave sort of like these um, blank pieces. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or another thing is to mix a second color. So then you ah. can kind of have sort of like a two-tone thing going on. Yes. And once you kind of drag it across... I mean, that's the joy of it being DIY. Right. You can make it totally saturated. You can make it look like there's a little bit of depth there by adding right. in a lighter color or a darker color. Now, I'm going to show you one thing. So say, for example, you make a mistake like this. See how we have a little bit of paint? Yeah. I always have a really fine um, brush so that I can go through at the end. show them what the mistake is. So right there, she sort of colored outside the line. Right. So you're going to fix so that So don't out. freak out. You're perfectly fine. All you need to do is you take a really fine brush uh -huh. and you just Correct. Oh, okay. And just go along the edge like that. See? That is cool. I want to show them the final result one more time. So this is what she one? did. I couldn't tell from afar. I had to come close and I was like, what's Nikki painting today? <laughs> because I couldn't tell she had painted the shower curtain. So give it up for her for making <laughs>